My town is nowhere you've been, but you know it's ilk. A roundabout off a national road, an industrial estate, a five-screen cineplex, a century of pubs packed inside the square mile of the town's limits. The Atlantic is near. The gnarled jawbone of the coastline, with its gull-infested promontories, is near. Summer evenings, and in the manure-scented pastures of the satellite parishes, the Zen bovines lift their heads to contemplate the V8 howls of the boy racers tearing through the back lanes. I am young, and the young do not number many here, but it is fair to say we have the run of the place. It is Sunday, the weekend, that three-day festival of attrition is done. Sunday is the day of purgation and redress, of tenderized brain cases and seesawing stomachs and hollow pledges to never ever get that twisted again. A day you are happy to see slip by before it ever really gets going. I think it's a pretty exciting time uh, to be a, a young uh, writer in Ireland today. There's a really pretty well established national scene of independent publishers and they're um, they're very eager to, you know, to discover new voices and give a platform for new fiction. Things like the Rooney Prize, you know, is very important to help them um, promote recognition of, of those new voices as well in tandem with getting published. So it's definitely a very um, exciting time and I, I know there's even more younger younger writers again coming up behind me. I'm 34 and there's, there's already another, you know, another generation behind me. It was a great surprise and it was a terrific honour um, to be a recipient of the Rooney Prize. When you look back over the previous recipients, the, the Rooney Prize has, has, a, has a pretty accurate knack of, of finding you know, voices that, that do emerge and, and become you know, very established. The Rooney Prize for Irish Literature is probably the, one of the most senior prizes uh, that are offered to writers of 40 years or younger. It's a really important award because it's not just for one particular book, it's for um, an oeuvre, it's for a writer who is moving out of promise into their own light. The writers come from all over Ireland, uh, the north, south, east and west, but also perhaps significantly uh, in both languages. That kind of uh, concentration on Irish literature is really what it's about. Well, it's wonderful to win any prize. A prize is a prize is a prize. But winning the Rooney Prize, I think, is especially celebratory and encouraging and gives a writer great confidence because being um, a prize for early work, it comes at a crucial time in their writing development. Oh, the Rooney Prize back in 1977 meant such a great deal. Young up and coming writers, they didn't really win prizes. I certainly, I thought they didn't win prizes or get money or get encouragement. And it was more the encouragement thing, the recognition that's somebody who's saying, we think you're kind of promising and you could do something. It's only later that I realised how prestigious it was, frankly. And then looking back over all the names that are there now, I'm just delighted to be in that company. I'm absolutely thrilled to be the winner of this year's Rooney Prize. Um, it means so much to me and I almost can't believe it still. It's one of those moments in life that you really cherish and that you never forget. I'd imagine that the biggest difference that the Rooney Prize will make to my career as a writer is that it will allow me time to focus on my craft and time to write more books, which is invaluable really to me at this stage of my development. Um, and I'm extremely grateful to Trinity College and the Rooney family, of course, for this extremely generous prize. It means so much to me. Do you remember the foxgloves all along our avenue, those purple bells filled with pollen and pale freckles? They nodded at us as we strolled home from a dance at dusk. Mary she mother said, fairy thimbles and butterflies and bumblebees. Do you remember? The foxglove blossoms were everywhere, tall, leafy, lush, and nodding, always nodding. Birdsong and bicycle bells lit the air when we strolled home from the dance. At dusk, the foxgloves were plump, soft pops between fingers and thumbs. The bushes burst with them, the hedges all purple speckled. You remember the foxgloves, their lips pursed, 
like a sigh stifled, like a mother's blush. The sun sank slow, painted our faces gold as honeysuckle.